What if you closed just one more claim per day while you were on CAT? Just one. In this video, I'm gonna talk about that and run some numbers for you so you can see what's possible. But stay with me through to the end of this video for more information about how to do this in much greater detail. Okay, so you can sketch the Disney castle in Xactimate inside and out. You've forgotten more about restoration construction than most people will learn in their entire lifetimes. You've got a drone, a pile of scoping apps, some augmented reality gadgets, lasers, some cougar paws, a diet rich in vitamins and fiber. How hard could this cat adjuster thing be? In this video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different and we're just gonna jump straight in right now. I'm seeing that there's a little bit of a disconnect among new and even experienced adjusters and reality. On the one hand, there's an expectation that this job is a path to riches. It's the six-figure job you don't need any formal education to do well in. On the other hand, people don't believe me when I tell them how long it takes me to close a typical claim for a typical carrier on CAT. I'm gonna share with you some numbers, and this is for CAT property. For a typical wind hail claim, not including file setup and contact, I'm aiming for an hour or less. Doesn't really matter how big or cut up the house is. The only things that can kick me over an hour are outbuildings, fences, and lots of contents. And this includes a giant tree on the house. Even when I got started, the only digital tool that I had to run claims with was the early versions of Xactimate, and I wish I could say it's improved since then. So I could use a computer to write the claim, but that was it. I had no laser, I had to use a Polaroid camera, and I had to staple those pictures on a piece of paper and write using a pen the label for the photo, the diary was handwritten, the invoice was handwritten, everything but the estimate was handwritten with hands. And how long did it take me to close those hail claims back in the day? One hour, start to finish. In other words, about the same amount of time. Don't believe me? Totally fine. Now let's look at a typical storm-related water loss. And again, not including file setup or contact. Usually, an hour or less, but not more than three hours for a large loss max, and that is a foot of water in every single room of the house. Now you're saying, okay, that sounds, that sounds, you know, it sounds fine. You just, I could scope a loss in an hour. I'm not just scoping here. This isn't my inspection time, and then I stay up all night writing these claims. I'm writing these up on site, the whole thing, settling with the insured on site. When I leave the house, there's not one thing left to do in one hour. Still don't believe me? Fine. Keep watching. The most common claim that you'll handle as a cat property adjuster is going to be wind and hail. That's your bread and butter. The key takeaway here is that because the storm season is fleeting and mother nature is fickle, cat property adjusters must be fast. We have to be able to close claims quickly to do well on a storm, but we also have to have high quality and great customer service if we wanna get asked to work again in the future. So speed plus quality plus customer service equals a long and rewarding career in cat property claims. So you won't make it as a cat property adjuster if you can't close a lot of claims with excellent quality. It's as simple as that. So what happens if you can add just one more claim to your day and do it without losing quality or angering your insurers? Let's run some quick math. We'll assume that you're averaging just $300 per claim closed, and we can talk about the fee schedule in another video but we're gonna run with $300. If you're able to close claims five days a week when you're on a CAT deployment, losing a couple of days to bad weather, office days, and days off, and you add one more closed claim per day in that week, then you'll be closing an additional five claims that week. Five times 300 is 1,500 bucks, so an extra $1,500 a week. Not bad. Most people don't make $1,500 a week let alone adding that to what you're already earning. So what is that in a month? Well, 1,500 times four weeks, technically 4.3, but we're gonna run with four for simplicity. 1,500 times four is $6,000, right? It's pretty good. That's pretty good earning for one month. Assume you're out on cat duty for six months. That's an extra $36,000 you've added to your annual income just by adding one closed claim per day. Could you use an extra $36,000 a year? Understand this. You can have all the high-tech gadgets, drones, lasers, etc. You can be an Xactimate certified trainer, a master in the software. You can be a Hague certified inspector, which is a master of damage evaluation. You can have 50 years of construction experience and you can even have spent 20 grand on adjuster specific training. But if you can't manage your time, you're going to fail at this job. Most adjusters that I know who routinely earn low to mid six figures have only a couple 
or none of the credentials that I just listed, including myself. But what we all share is the ability to be very fast and maintain a high level of quality. And we're all on the first call list, and why? We recognize that when it's all said and done, volume is what makes this crazy job worth it. Closing as many claims as possible with the highest possible file and customer service quality. We have to make hay while the sun shines, but we can't be messy about it. So if you wanna know more about how to close more claims in a day, even if it's just one more a day, I invite you to check out the advanced time management webinar training that I'm doing. In this free live masterclass, you're gonna learn the three myths that are running claims that are holding you back because they aren't true if you do things right. And you'll learn three specific ways you can easily add at least one more claim a day. So click the link below where you're watching this video. And it's a limited time free training, so grab your spot right now. Okay, question of the day. What is your preferred method for measuring fence? A wheel, a laser, counting posts, or pacing? Let's talk about it in the comments. And if you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by hitting the round subscribe button. Wondering what to watch next? Check out these videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.